Salam, salam. This is another Black Business Spotlight. Check out who I'm featuring. Alrighty, I'm back with this Black Business Spotlight. Um, as the little slideshow y'all seen, I'm featuring Tamisha Artistry. She's a um, a black bit um, a black in the spotlight person that I'm featuring. She's an artist and she's also an earring designer. I met her here on YouTube. Um, she would leave comments and she told me that she was starting. Uh, um, she's an artist and she's starting an earring line. And she also has a YouTube. Put all her information below. Um, I got some information about her and her dope business but i'm gonna show y'all what i got from her and i also have a giveaway the first thing i want to show y'all let me get this together first thing i want to show y'all is she's an artist so she makes some of the dopest she makes some of the dopest afrocentric um beautiful pieces that i showed y'all in a slideshow so she sent me this beautiful picture that i'm redecorating my um living room and i'm going to put it up so she sent me this beautiful picture do y'all see that she sent me this I hope y'all can see that. But it's a, a sister with some bold lips right there. And a dope afro. And this is made on the canvas. It's so fly. I hope y'all can see it. Because y'all know my camera be tripping. And y'all know I be want to beat it up. <laughs> so um, that is that. Yep. So this is what she sent me as a gift and I'm gonna thank you beloved for that it will be on display in my front room once I get it finished um, okay so I'm having a giveaway for her and the thing that you have to do to win this is what she sent me it's a giveaway and the thing that you have to do to win these dope earrings because they earrings um hand painted earrings is go to her YouTube subscribe and put um send in a, put in her comments unity sent me and also below this video put enter me tamisha earrings enter me tamisha earrings you have to be 18 years old it is international and the contest will be over september the 16th uh and i'm gonna put all this information below if you want to um just check out her business hopefully inshallah y'all will check out her business because she got some cool stuff in these and this what it came in it's so neat and i like the way that she I dropped the the little thing i like the way that she um she packaged it she kept them separated because you know what hand painted earrings um if, you know, sometimes if you go package them right when you're shipping them, they will stick together. So that's cool that she packaged them for her to be doing art. I mean, the earrings recently, and she knew how to package them right. That's peace. But these are them. See how fly they are? In the back. This is the back. And she signed it. I don't know how I turned my hands around it. <laughs> but she got T. Diggs. Tamisha Diggs. But these are so dope. And let me get down here and get this y'all but let me tell y'all i've been you know doing the hand painted earring thing for seven years and before then i you know was selling a lot of handmade cultured jewelry and when i when i tell you that this sister stuff is a really good quality for her to just start doing earrings it's that's peace so you would win these as i showed y'all you put this down you will win these. So fly right. I will rock these. And this is her card. Tamisha Artistry. Art is my passion. If y'all can see that. 
hopefully autofocus will do good. If not, I will take a picture of these and put in the slideshow. So, um, please, you know, y'all support these black business spotlights. I do these because I know we don't get enough support. Usually when you're a black, a black, a black business owner, you're doing everything. You're doing the production, you're doing the, the uh, marketing, the advertising. You know, you don't have a whole big team to do everything for you. And we gave this country 400 and some years of free labor. So we got to support. We, as black people, we built this place. And we should support black businesses. Um, it was a time where black businesses, um, you know, black people was really doing pretty good up coming up from slavery, you know, with, you know, um, Black Wall Street and, uh, and um, Roswell. It was so many black communities that it was really owned by black people. You know, a lot of times, you know, with the, the Michael, Mike Brown situation, people saying you, they're tearing up their community. Most of the time, those communities are not owned by black people. Not saying they should tear it up, but when people are angry, they do things. It's like they, they don't do it. They do it because to, to them it feels like um, that they're getting revenge because, you know, that's a whole nother video, but I will get into that. But most of the time when you have black communities, they're not owned by black people. I remember growing up in black communities, most of them was owned by Jews or uh, like white Jews or um Asians, it was never really owned by us, and the landlords were some slum landlords. So it's different when we black people can own a community and we really own the stores and we own everything that go through that community. Inshallah, it'll get back that way one day, but we gotta have like-minded people that really want that. So also check out Tony Daly. She do support a sister and she feature businesses black businesses on her blogs and she also do youtube videos about the black businesses so you know um i do these black business spotlight i could be doing something else but i do them because it's a passion for one thing i love my people and another thing i support black businesses because i'm a black business owner and i just think that we should support black businesses and i'm gonna continue to do these I, this is one thing that i've been doing since i you know been doing the youtube videos is the black business spotlights and i mean a lot of people y'all like them and the people that i feature tell me that it really helps their business so i'm, I'm happy with that so this is what y'all will get so y'all so me support 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 and um i'm doing um my other channel i'm doing a, a segment called um handmade and me where i support just handmade artists so make it a little balance. So also, like I say, here go my picture again. You can see it more better because the other part of video I shot earlier today, and this part I'm shooting now because the camera was acting crazy. But yeah, this is this dope, and I I really really like the way that she, you know, incorporate natural hair in her artwork. I mean, when I do, my artwork is really cultural, but I love the way she incorporates that. We need that as a people. And other people need to see us in that light because we always imitating other people, other cultures instead of our own. And there's a reason why God gave us this hair. If you look at nature, you'll see this hair. If you look at the trees, you'll see this hair. You know, our natural hair, we communicate more better. We're more, when we're, you know, some people think it's a fashion, which naturally we are regal, we are royalty, and there's nothing wrong with fashion. I love fashion, but at the same time, our hair is our natural hair is spiritual. It's like it's like we could communicate more with each other. We know what each other thinking. It's like it's it's really deep. It's real spiritual, and a lot of people on YouTube. That's in natural hair community. Don't talk about that because some of them don't know. And inshallah, I will do a whole video telling you all how our hair is divine. And it's so many stories uh, in history. You know, there's a reason why God gave us this hair. 
And there's a, and there's some black people that have straight hair, some black people have curly hair. No matter how your hair is, it is beautiful, and we should embrace it. You should embrace it. So I I big up the sister for making images for, of us, and images of so black babies can see this. You know, I really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. And I will be getting more pieces from her to add to this collection. You know, to go in my front room but this was my black business spotlight i hope y'all enjoyed and um inshallah i will be back with more black business spotlight y'all check out these earrings they already sold i know they so dope right <laughs> all righty salam salam